Hello everybody, welcome to Shucker's Wrap Up. I'm your host Thaddeus Cruz coming to you from MGM Park where on Thursday night the Biloxi Shuckers opened up a five game series against the Birmingham Barons. Top of the fifth inning in a scoreless ball game. Runner at second, Eddie Alvarez shoots one to the wall in left center. Scoring from second would be Adam Engel. Alvarez aims for the triple. He slides in ahead of the throw, but comes off the bag. The tag is applied by Javier Betancourt for the out. The visitors would have a 1-0 lead through five frames. Seventh inning, same score. Runners at the corners for Courtney Hawkins. Skies went out there to left field. Johnny Davis camps under it, makes the catch. Scoring on the sacrifice fly would be Adam Engel for his second run of the game to give the Barons a 2-0 lead. Score would remain that way going into the eighth. Runners at first and second. Brett Phillips puts down a sacrifice attempt. Zach Birdie, the throw to first, goes into right field. Scoring from second is Tyrone Taylor. Moving over to third on the play was Angel Ortega with Phillips taking second. And the Shuckers all of a sudden had the go-ahead run in scoring position. Next batter, Garrett Cooper. Inside outs, one to right field. Angel Ortega crosses to tie the game at two. And that would be our score heading into the ninth inning where the Shuckers would have have the runners on the corners for Angel Ortega, who pounds one to second. Joey DeMichael fields, but he has no play anywhere. Crossing the plate for the game-winning run is Johnny Davis, and the Shuckers walk off a winner 3-2 to two on Thursday night to open up the series against the Birmingham Barons. The victory gives the Shuckers manager Mike Guerrero his 1,000th career win as the Shuckers move to four games above 500 on the season. Javier Betancourt with the multi-hit night advances his hitting streak to seven seven games and he steals his first bag of the season as Angel Ventura makes his first MGM Park start lasting five innings allowing a run on eight hits a walk and five strikeouts in the no decision Taylor Scott out of the bullpen gets the win his first with the Biloxi Shuckers pitched a perfect ninth for his first W of the season the series continues with game two on Friday night from MGM Park with right-handed pitcher Taylor Youngman taking the mound for the Biloxi Shuckers First pitch is set for 7, 10 p.m. with gates opening at 6 p.m. Also, fans, just a reminder, the first 1,000 kids through the gate, ages 12 and under, will receive a free youth baseball courtesy of the Mississippi Forestry Commission. For Shuckers Wrap-Up, I'm Thaddeus Cruz.